thought I told you to get out of here. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Go ahead and try. <laughs> Looks like you'll be taking a little holiday. What does that mean? There's no work for you in my girl. Name's Greg. I know who you are. You work for Kate Lee, don't you? I was thinking about starting a new career. That's him. That's Frank Green, the little gunman. You're a class act. I'm better than that bitch will ever be. Too right. Can only be one queen. No doubt about it. Just wait right outside. Your Highness. <gasps> oh, beautiful boy. Sydney Rockies. Doesn't get any fresher than this. I wrote a story in the uh, truth the other day. Bullshit, Barney. You can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they asked Benny Waring what he wanted to be doing in five years. You know what he said? Still scoring goals for the Rabbitohs. How good is that, eh? Yeah. What do you want to be doing in five years, Barney? Me? Uh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Greg? Prime Minister, mate. No doubt about it. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, seriously? I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe you have a family, a couple of kids. Bullshit. Aggie. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, not many. <laughs> How about you, Wall? Just like Benny Wearing, mate. Still scoring tries for Kate Lee. We're gonna go for a swim. Who's up for it? The water's freezing. Your balls will pop out your mouth. Oh, you big girl. Bruce? Rocky? Yeah, right, I'm up for it. Ah, oh, stop it. Oh. I'll, um, take care of your gear. Nah, no, come on, Walt. One in, all in. No, he's a bushy, mate. Can't swim. Bullshit. I have never met a bloke who can't swim. Last one in's a pufta! Before this week was out, one man would be dead, another wounded, and a third would be facing the hangman's noose. All for the love of a woman. All right, careful. But... Yeah. Well, at least the Danny works. Oh. Isn't it beautiful, eh? I could never have that at Palmer Street. We don't have any plan. Well, so fucking what? Anyone who's got any class has got their own fucking piano. Neighbours! Oh. Welcome to Torrington Road. I'm Gladys Solomon. This is my daughter, Constance. Say hello, Constance. Hello. And here's a little something. Oh, thank you, ducks. How very kind. Well, I'm Matilda, and this is me husband, James. Mm. <laughs> oh, my, what a lovely piano forte. Thank you, Gladys. Constance goes to the Conservatorium of Music. She's very gifted. Yeah, I can see she's well endowed. With talent. Sticks out a mile. <sighs> You'll have to come over and play for us sometime, Connie, once we're settled in. Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it, Constance? <laughs> no. Dance. <clears throat> um, yes, 
Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, Sint. Uh, one cup of sugar, here you go. Ta. <sighs> Are you all right? Uh, yeah, it will pass. <sighs> Better. <gasps> oh, don't worry, I'm not sick. I'm just a little bit pregnant. Oh. Feels good to say it out loud. What a pair of prize fillies. What's cooking good looking? Horses run around Renwick in the dark now, do they? Who wants a drink? Connie was just leaving. Oh, it's a shame thought we could have a party. Good night, Mr. Devine, and congratulations. Oh, thanks, love. Good five quid a night for a girl like that. Why the congratulations? Having a win on the ponies. You did, didn't you? Let's have that drink you were talking about. Next time, bring me extra blanket. It's getting chilly at night. What have you found out about my future son? Oh, he spends most of his days with Eileen. They go to pictures, go for walks. You know, things that young couples do. I won't have him fornicating underneath my roof. You tell her that, you tell her you break her legs. Yeah, no worries. I've already taken care of that. Good. You can see him very soon. Um, how's the jumper going? Oh, yeah, it's coming along good. I like the colour. <laughs> you reckon it'll suit him? Yeah. I'll go get him. Don't take too long. Sleepyhead. Come back to bed. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. I've got to go to work. <sighs> Making the world a more dangerous place. Yeah, something like that. I'll see you the cyber. See ya. Greg Gaffney, Aggie found the love of her life. Perhaps branding Nellie Cameron with a razor was her way of declaring it. Whatever her reasons, it was only ever going to end badly. Not so tough now, are you, bitch? Please, Aggie, please, Aggie, what? I'm gonna cut you so badly. Don't, Aggie! <laughs> Let's start with your nose. <laughs> Worse. Are you, uh, you going to the game? No, mate, no. Wait, Greg, Aggie needs you. She's been bashed. Where? Your place. What happened? Aggie, what happened? Don't look at me. Who did this? Frank Green. What, is it, you left the Devines? Should have been there to look after you. Oh, it's not your fault. Look at me. No, oh, I can't. I'm hideous. No, you're not. You're beautiful. Look, look at me. <laughs> you listen to me. You listen. You are still beautiful. No. No, you are. <laughs> you always will be. Always. What 
are you doing? I'm gonna kill the coot. Greg. Be careful. You don't worry about me. Get a car, meet me outside. You bet I just do it. What's going on? I'm gonna kill Fred Green. You gonna what? I'm serious. You should see what he did to Aggie. Is she alright? No, no, she's not all right. She's hurt, she's humiliated. So you, you with me or what? No, mate, I'm not. Look, I'm sorry that she's hurt, but you should go home and look after her because no one's killing anyone. You're weak as piss, Wall. If it wasn't for Aggie, Killer Divine would own this bloody place. Wait too. Just drive. Nah, mate, I prefer a good piece of lumber. I don't do two years in the bay for carrying a piece of timber. And I'm not one for razors, not after. Just take it. Mate. Now bloody we'll get this crate moving. Oh, he could be bloody anywhere. We keep driving till we find him. Finish it. You just started a bloody war. They're going to be up, so we've got to act fast. We can hit it hard again when he comes out of St. Vincent's. Shit. This ends when Green is dead. All right. Hard and fast, Barney. Yeah, I'm in. That's good, mate. Go start the car. All right. Let's do this. Pray to God, none of us swing for it. What's wrong? I don't know. Uh, ah, shit! Do you know what you're doing, Barney? Yeah, let's keep your shirt on. Be quicker to hoof it. If we do this, we need to be able to get away in a hurry. What about the boss's car? We're not taking Kate Lee's car to a shooting. Use your bombs! Car trouble, Barney. Yeah, bloody thing. Uh, now these buggers run better if you put petrol in them. Barney. Are we out of petrol? Yeah, could be. Barney! Yeah, that's not my fault. Boys hurt? Someone shot Frankie Green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we heard. Do you know if he's still at St. Vincent's? Nah, didn't want to hang around for the coppers. He's heading out to Maroubra. Reckons he'll be right with Big Jim Devine. Does he? Well, I shot the bastard, Greg. And I'm going to finish him and Devine off tonight, so fuck a lot of them! Greg! Hello, operator. Put me through to Big Jim Devine in Maroubra. Make it snappy. It's John Prendergast. Yeah, that's all right. Never calls me snowy. Right. Now I won't forget your tears. What's up? Who was that? Jim, who was that? 
Some punk reckons Gaffney and his mates are on their way here. It's bragging he's gonna do both of us tonight. Sweet mercy. Let him come. Where to, gents? You know where the Divines live in Maroubra? The Torrington Road? Yeah. That's where we're headed. Till he's having one of her big chavoos, is she? Yeah, something like that. Come on, Frank. Quick game's a good game. Sugar. Oh, look who just got the old mate. Can we play poker? No. I like old mate. Nugget, it's your turn. Guts to love yourself a pair of black queens. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a cat. Who over here? But the divine place is a couple of long. He'll do. Greg, it steadies me head. All right, gents. That'll be six bob on the knocker. Just wait here. Uh, we'll fix you up when we get back in town. Uh, six bob or I'm leaving right now. Fred. I mean it. Oh, all right. Uh, two bob, three, three and six, four and six rippets is all I got. Switch the lights off. This might be them now. I've got a really bad feeling about this. You're gutless, Wall. Mate, Kate won't be happy. Fuck Kate, this is personal. I want Frank Green's blood! We'll, we'll fix you up, promise. Famous last words. Give me Frank Green and no one else will get hurt! Reckon that's them. Oh, bloody street knows it's them. I'm with you, Jimmy. You stay his soldier, you wounded. him. That's I'll, like, I'll handle this. That's gaff. I said I'll handle it. Fight. I'm coming in! I want Frank Green's blood! Don't come on my property or I'll shoot! Go on, shoot then. I've got plenty of mates with me. I'm telephoning the police. Oh, no! Jim! Oh, my God, this is for a joke. Get him, Bernie! Get him! I'm done for go! 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 Boys, I came for a drink. She'll get the brandy. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Only solid. Good man. I'm the gunman. Yeah, mate. You are. Oh, Jesus. Tell Aggie I love her. Thanks. Christ, Walt, what are we going to do? Nothing we can do. <laughs> You gonna let that bastard get away with this? <laughs> Greg Gaffney, true to his word, refused to tell the police his name or who gunned him down. Eternal risk ran unto him, my lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of the faithful depart and rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Get the last rites. Get a chance to make his peace with God. I don't know.
So will the fuck happen. I let him down. The Lord has chosen to call our brother, Gregory, from this life to himself. We therefore commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and under dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ... What are those mongrels doing here, Wall? Don't know. They've got no right. We all behave. Photo may relay a smile to a single memory mist. The Lord may embrace you in peace. Raise so up rest upon us. your mother's chest. She wears that and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dress for Amen. you today. Terribly sorry about the death of your son, Mrs. Gaffney. I pray for him every night. The inquest that followed wasn't convinced by Big Jim Devine's claims of contrition and self-defense either. He was to stand trial for murder. He shoots a man in cold blood and they grant him bail. Well, at least it's 400 quid. I don't care if it's 4,000 pounds. <laughs> How's Greg's mum bearing it? Not too good. Parents were never meant to bury their children. Send her a bunch of flowers and a case of brandy. Right on. What else? Eileen's band's been heard in church for the third time. They set a date. Don't know. You tell that sneaky little cow to come visit me, or I'll cut her off without a farthing. You tell us you get nothing. Best be on your way. See you next time. My arm's on the mend, just in case you're wondering. What's the word on the street? These people tried anything yet? Not yet. But they will. They're not going to take losing one in their own lying down, an eye for an eye. Unless we... Come on, we're going into town. Got a hemorrhoid the size of a baby's head. Got to ease it out gently. Me happy the poet. Come on. What's the rush? We're going to show the world we still rule the roost. We're going to crush him on their home turf. I'll get Frank. Mr. 
Doctor, want us to whistle you a tune? I'm a really grouse whistler. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Very nice, so maybe some other time. Don't be cross. You know I'm a big softie. Your mum wants to see you. I don't like going out to that place. It gives me the creeps. She could be getting out soon. Another couple months. Well, it looks like she's going to get out early for good behaviour. <laughs> That'll be fair. So, if you don't want all hell to break loose... Whoa! We're in for a stout. Frank Reed's recruiting muscle for the Divines. They're heading to Kell Street, packing shooters and blades. Get Will Archer, Octopus Barney, anyone you can find. Just go, go! Right. They all up for a bit of rough stuff. This lot slit their mother's own throat for free grog and snow. Excellent. Thomas, I reckon the action's gonna be out here tonight. I reckon you're gonna freeze your asses off. Bring it on, mate. I could take a few and you make some one hand tie behind my back. Who's that one? The big mouth. Snowy Prendergast. He's the one who phoned through the tip off about Gaffney. Reckons we owe him. <laughs> Punk. You wanna go eat love? No. I wanna stay and watch. Half a dozen blokes come from the arms after the swill. They got their own blades? Yeah. Give them a totter run and twist when they get here. Whatever it takes to show those pricks out there we mean business. Telford reckons a big fella would be good for the cup. Fala. I'm pregnant. What? We're gonna have a baby. Jesus Christ. I think that name's already been taken. Tomlinson and his crew are coming out. Oh, Stiffy and Mo. You want us to take them on? No, wait for my word. For the change of shift at the cop shop. Don't want the blizzard spoiling your fun. Yeah, all right. Hell. You're not really asking me out. That's why you bought the house. One of the reasons, yeah. Ruffles no place to raise a bopper. You up here or what? Yeah, 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 of course I am. It's a bit of a shock, that's all. Hope I'm around to see a little tacker. You planning on pissing off? Well, till I could swing for murder. You're not gonna swing. I won't let them touch an air on your own. smile. My pleasure. <laughs> 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 
I didn't see you, did it? That's all. Now piss off. How old is he? 22. He's a good looking young bloke. He gets turned into Frankenstein's monster. And he still wouldn't see who slashed him. Doctor stitched up another dozen monkeys from the same stash. None of them had anything to say. Down the law of them. So I went round to his digs. All this stuff's gone. He's got two brothers. Bill and Bert. Bruce, Bill and Bert. <laughs> He's probably one of them. Yeah, maybe. He'll be back. Thanks, Will. <clears throat> you can go now. Dearest love, by the time you read this, I will be long gone. Please forgive me for not having the courage to say goodbye to your beautiful face. I'm not strong enough to bear the look of horror and revulsion you would be unable to hide upon seeing the hideous thing I have become. I learned so much from you, my love. Thank you. Yours faithfully, Bruce Higgs. Bruce Higgs never returned to Razorhurst. Kate Lee never saw him again. But she never forgot her beautiful boy. <laughs> After a very short trial, Big Jim Devine was acquitted of the murder of Greg Gaffney on all counts. Is the justice being done? And done like a bloody dinner! <laughs> and here's to Greg Gaffney, rotten in hell where he belongs. <laughs> Bill, Premier's on the phone. Tell him I'm drunk. <laughs> you don't look it. Give me half an hour. <laughs> Bless it. Put him through. Cracked with screen on her 
sing it in the look of your arms You're just like the rest of those girls They're all dance by diamonds and dance by diamonds and dance You are never, ever going over there again. Sydney Town, eh? Not here. I wanted that baby so much. I know you did. I know you did, baby. What did they say that we could try again? They didn't say. Girls who just left. They're your babies. They need you as much as they need any mum. That's what your best dad. Your best dad mad in this town's ever seen. That'll do me. What day is it? It's Saturday, love. Well, you better get a move on, Mr. Racy. So I stung the tip of a foot. I'll get you a cup of tea. friends in Christ, you are about to enter into a union that is most sacred. Where to? You know where. Albert Reginald Duke, wilt thou take Eileen Lee here present for thy lawful wife according to the right of Holy Mother, the Church? Eileen Lee, wilt thou take Albert Reginald Duke here present for thy lawful husband. I, Albert Reginald Duke. I, Eileen Lee. Take you. Albert Reginald Duke. For my lawful wife. Can this thing go any faster? To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better. For worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Amen. Amen. You're too late, lady. Wedding's over. Come on, Katie. You couldn't have stopped it anyway. She's legal age. 
you got the wrong end of the stick, Wall. I just wanted to be at my daughter's wedding. I'm her mum. 